Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever Long Haul. We are back at Wixton where I'm going to go ahead and set up a shipping line, passenger shipping, down to Woodstock, which I believe I can put it over here and it will not be big of a problem. If I can get it in, of course, because there is the transfer point. How far out? Oop. How far can I get? Uh, I think. Hmm. But it also has to go up the hill. That is a slight problem. Maybe if I move it over. There. Uh, let's try to put this road in. Oh, that is bad. That is a big old divot. I do this, and not have it look all funky. Uh. Answer is no. Let's try from here. Come down to there. Ah, it likes that. Okay, so I just had to reverse it. So let's gonna smooth that out a bit. Make that look a little nicer. All right, that's good enough. And that is in range. So now people can take the tram over to the ships. And as usual, I'm gonna stick a port. What is it? Not port. Shipyard. Right in here. About halfway. Sure. Why not? Maybe right on this point. There we go. All right. Let's make a ship line. Don't say that too fast. Uh, I'm gonna start here with bright yellow. Starting from Woodston to Woodstock. Ta -da! And let's go ahead and open up that line so we can actually see how fast it is. The shipping lines, eh. They don't really have to be too quick. I mean, I could make them really fast with these 93 kilometer an hour hovercraft. But, I uh, don't really want to. And these are only till 1985, so we can use these. All right, that's 11 minutes. Hmm, that is most acceptable. Five minutes for a ship. That should be fine. Of course, we need to add our boats in. Ah, no. It will have to be these ones because they... These ones stop in 1985 and it's already 76, so... It will have to be those boats. And we, of course, have to make them the same line color. Which isn't nearly as bad as it looks so ship passenger wakes done to woodstock Whiston no where's that where's my G at there it is Wigston to Woodstock that's set up uh, let's take a look at our lovely ships It's even waiting for us. Isn't that nice? Little dinghy on the end. Yeah, it's not too bad. Ah, we have have our Volvos trucks. Those are pretty good trucks for the mod. These are all mods, and we'll probably eventually use them if they don't have a expiration. Oops too far behind, but you never know. 
Uh, I also realized these two cities work great with the ship. This one we'd have to like make a line out to it. Colchester would have to have a line out to it. And we could have one to Portis Head, because it's right here. That would work. And that is all the rivers that we've got. So it would be quite the long haul to go from Wigston, I mean Woodstock to Port Portis Head? Portish Ede? Portish Ede? Portis yeah, Portis Head. I called the port said from the start. That's what I'll keep on calling it. Ooh, almost spilled my water there. So, I think it's a great idea. Put in more shipping lines. Yes. Passenger. Definitely want the passenger. You will go ahead and tweak that, and we will put in a boat, a dock, I should say, right here, and then add the road back in, so we can put that in there. And of course, we need a bridge. I want to bridge this. Just do that and leave it the level crossing. And then I'll do another level crossing over here. I think I'm just going to do a bus that simply comes down this road and over. And that should help service all of this. So I'm going to use one of these. We do not need tram tracks. And I connect it onto this line. This road, I should say. Uh, so this will be the transfer. And then we want an actual bus stop, probably about right here. And then another bus transfer station. Right out. I could cap off the road, go like this. Hmm. And they just drive straight in. It's unlikely they'd build over. Nah. I'm gonna go like this. So. Like so. And unfortunately, we do not have a road depot over here. So we are going to add one. But where to put it? Uh, looks like a fine and dandy spot. We are going to, of course, start here and do our fun little line. And it goes back. There we go. All right, so what color is I guess whatever color I want it to be. Because they use this and this. I want purple. And we'll have a purple bus line. With passenger. So. 88. 2000. 78. From 1970. Now we need to carry that many people. 24, 16, 14, 13. 
I think we're going to use these sour tushers, tushers, tushier. Eh. However, it's said. We'll add four to the line. Obviously, we need to find out what it's at. 68 seconds. Fifty four seconds. That should be plenty fast enough to transfer people. And we will replace those with buses that will not disappear on us, these man SL one nine twos. Because these last thirty years, so by the time thirty years is up, these two buses will be gone and so will this one, so the man's. And we want them to be purple. So, road passenger. What is this city? Solly Hall. Solly Hall. Uh. Port. We'll call it the Solly Hall port line. There you go. And it's just. Apparently, we don't have too many bus lines at all. Fascinating. Oh, who would have thought? All right, we want to have a boat. And from there, I'm going to say right here. I like having it halfway. That way, the ships can go either direction. And, of course, we need another shipping line. Oh! Another open wagon, another man, and... I don't know how that's said in Russian, but... That bus? We'll go from here. To yonder. We'll change its color to... Uh, weird green. And we will pause now because I neglected to raise the bridges, which is very important. Without raised bridges, we cannot pass. Who shall not pass without a raised bridge? Raise that bridge. Want it as low as possible. That one works. And then these are underneath passing. And we need this bridge. Ooh, that's a little loud. Anyway, we'll connect that in through, raise it up. Lower it back down. Will that ever disappear? No. There we go, but we can't accept that. And our line now works. Ah, <clears throat> oh, but why is it doing that? That's crazy. Why would you... Terminal 1. Silly boat line. What's it doing over here? Alright, so it, it worked over here just fine. That goes under, that goes under. Alright. So, let's click this. Open our line tool. And let's buy some ships. One, two, three, four. Start with four, sure, why not? Line one. You are nine minutes. Two more. Six minutes. Good enough for me. And of course, we have to have our lovely replacements, Xerix. Okay, and we want our boats to be of that color. And of course, we are doing a ship passenger. Woodstock to Solly Hall. Have replacement. 
Excellent. So now we have the buses coming over here. Transfer to the tram. And you know what? Uh, I one of the next videos I put out, we're going to have to go along the entire route of the long haul line and upgrade all the stations to be their max length. That will be very interesting, to say the least. There'll be a lot of deletions. Yes, very many deletions. All right, so those are transferring back. Are we getting any? What's our passenger count? 37 and rising, which reduces our load over here. This is not too bad. So this station is lost some. Yes, so the really cheap people will take the boats up and down. Which is fine. I mean, everybody has their own differing price points, so that's good. And then our next city is Colchester, which I th think I'm just going to have to come across right here and across this. Yep. Because I would like a port in Colchester. Or that would be nice. Oh, another Swedish train. I believe that was a Swedish train. Right, let's give this a little pause for a second. And we'll go... Yes, I will use the country road. And if you were wondering, yes, immediately when I said that, I thought of John Denver. <laughs> John Denver's song, Country Road. Funny how that works. That's so ugly, though. I wonder if I can do that and then attach it. Because we're not going to come over here. We're going to do what we did before. We're going to put in one of these. Because it will reach just fine. Put that in. And then we'll come down here. <clears throat> and oop, wrong button. Haha. Uh -huh. I'll put one of these in down here, which is in line with that. Hmm. You know what? I like this idea. I am gonna put this in. I'm gonna extend that road. There we go. Now it should, yeah. Now this has all this coverage. What are these? Industry buildings. Let's take a look at this. Oh, this is commercial and industry. All right, well, that's not so terrible, I suppose. Um, so that comes in to the right, left. Should probably have connected the street through, but I couldn't have used this type of station, so oh well. That is what it is. And we are light green and very light blue. Uh that dark blue. No, we already used blue. How about this green? Yeah, we'll use that green. It's fine. Alright. And I... We do have one right here. 
Open our line tool again, of course, to see what our timing is. We are definitely not going to need too many buses on this line. Because of how short it is. 90 seconds. 60 seconds. 45 seconds. That is plenty quick. And in fact, since it's four buses, it may actually be too crowded. Which is a thing that can happen. 690. 2002, 14 passengers. What is it? Yeah, we just barely. I'll use the mans. The mans! Alright, so road passenger, full Chester port. Alright. So now we need a ship. We need a ship to come from yeah all the way down to yeah and that of course will be uh, neon green basically and right about here's where we want our new shipyard. Uh, maybe I can squeeze it in right here. I can, woohoo! Stick right there. And of course, we're buying these. One, two, three, four. Pausing on line one. 11 minutes. Mm. I think we can do better than that. Seven minutes. Plenty fast. I mean, it is ships, so don't need it too quick, but also not too slow. And that on. Of course, our vehicles are going to be the same color. Beautiful bright green. Ship passenger. Solly hull. Hmm. Uh, yeah, coal. Ch Chester. Yay. Okay. And I believe, yes, from Colchester to Portishead is the final stint. Okay. Our final port. I'm kind of wondering might be able to just put this in like so we give a little bit of space and connect the road I want city streets or uh, I guess I'm gonna gotta be skinny Oh, we have the Graf Zeppelin now for ship and the De Havilland Canada DHC-7. The mod, not mod, 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 mod. Oh, thank you. So I guess I'll put that in. And it does reach, but I am going to make certain that it reaches by erasing some people's houses. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that road. Always fix the roads. It's a good thing. There we go. That's flatter. And we don't have to muck around with any weird bus stations or lines. We'll just add that in. Add that in. And change the color to a bright blue. And of course, we want to add in our little port shipyard. It should probably go right about here. Maybe in this little nook. There we go. Yeah. 
And of course, buy ships. We want those ones. One, two, three. Eight minutes. I think eight minutes will be fine. Nah. Buy one more. Six minutes. That's a little bit easier to deal with for passengers, I would suppose. So we have the Zeppelins, which does 26 as opposed to 25. They are considerably more expensive, so I'm going to use these ones until much later on. Yep. Passenger. Colchester. Who port his head. There we have it. That is all of the river lines that we can create. For passenger ships, I mean. Obviously, we could use ships to transfer uh, goods. Like, we can bring iron and coal and ship out steel and slag and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Let's give a little look-see how our stations are doing. 400 people want to go to Portishead. Wow. Amazing. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. Oh. Renew. Can I go medium? No. So it has to be small. Check. Sweet. Now I can connect this up. And now people can come directly from here, as I will show. See, now it reaches these people. Or they can take the bus over. Oh, we have a new wagon. Einheitswagen. Vier. All right, let's take a look at that wagon, shall we? Just to show you wagons. We are currently using the Einheitswagen 2. And now we have the Einheitswagen here, which is a 200 kilometer an hour rail car, which also means we can use the class 103s, which are also 200 kilometers an hour, but they're rather expensive, I would say, compared to class 1042s. These are 1.4 million, these are 2.6, so 1.2 million more a year just for the train, and the wagons are only about 100,000 more a year. So that's what we have to look forward to, is upgrading all of our train lines to have more. Oh, look at this. People really want to be cheap going to Portishead. I never noticed that before. It just had a guy speaking over the intercom. Nice. Is this line okay? Yes. Final check. Make sure it actually goes in. Yes, it does. And that does... Oh yeah, it totally reaches. So apparently people don't really want to go from Portishead to Colchester. At the moment. But, you know, you never know. That'll change. Because things change. And when things change, it's a good thing. See, more people want to go to... Alright, so let's take a look. We have currently three billion dollars. That's with a B. We made $204 million last year and 206 the year before. And we're already at 
150 million this year and it doesn't look like we had any expenses like the year before where we bought 5.1 million in new vehicles and a whole bunch of other stuff so let's go till january and we'll see how much we made this last year 201 million dollars it'd be nice to make that in real life wouldn't it but that is the time we have for today so Uh, wrong button. Haha. -ha. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please press that like button, subscribe, or ring that notification bell so you can be alerted to when these videos are posted. And as always, I hope to see you next time.